Neil, back to you. Chad Bergram, thank you very, very much. So where are we at that, on this all of a sudden? Uh, Congressman Jody Arrington, Texas uh, Republican with us right now. Congressman, um, is this dead in your eyes? Well, if, it, if it's dead, it's because Nancy Pelosi has continued with her obstructionist uh, obsession of this president, even when we're in a crisis and we have real consequences to the political games that she's playing. And you, you know that they uh, are games when it's not just Republicans who are criticizing her. You've got progressive Democrats like my friend Ro Khanna. You've got 17 Democrats who broke from Heroes 2.0. You didn't get a single Republican. The Huffington Post, Andrew Yang, they're all saying, stop playing politics with people's lives. Meanwhile, the president, and say what you want, take exception, if you will, with some of the policies or provisions or the price tag. He is making a credible counteroffer and has met her more than halfway because he's a president that is a problem solver. He's a negotiator and he's a pragmatist. And he knows that the American people, many of our fellow Americans still need help. And he's willing to, uh, to do everything that he can to keep it in play and provide that much needed assistance. You know, Congress, it wasn't two weeks ago that he uh, shelved the whole thing and tweeted out, let's stop and then and, and resume this after the election. Someone must have gotten in his ear and said, all right, this is important for you to get done, or it could be a brilliant negotiating tactic. It, 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 if, if so, I, it, it might be lost on me. But having said that, who does this hurt more? Forget about the people for whom the aid is intended and might not come. Um, the, the feeling seems to be uh, that, you know, Nancy Pelosi is wagering it hurts the president more. Do you agree with that? I, I don't agree with that. I think that uh, Nancy Pelosi's calculation uh, and, and has been over the last two years as speaker that uh, at all cost we must prevent the president from getting a win even if that means the American people lose. But, but see, Neil, I, I have more faith in the American people and their judgment, and I think they, they see uh, what she's doing, the hollow excuses that she's making, the red herrings about testing and tracing. Uh, it's all bunk because we've put billions of dollars towards uh, those items and much more. And the president's counteroffer actually includes tens of billions of dollars more. So I think ultimately the American people, and, and, and you've got to have trust and faith in we the people to make the ultimate decision and to see the truth in the matter. And here, the truth is she's obstructing, which is no different than what she's done for two years. The president's trying to lead. Um, you know, she made a reference in the Wolf Blitz interview on CNN uh, that uh, she and the Treasury Secretary have been doing all the talking and planning and strategizing um, and, uh, you know, took offense to the notion that this has not involved the president. But it did remind me of the fact that I don't believe the two have talked to each other in, in many, many months. Um, that is unusual. And I'm not blaming one versus the other. But if the president were reelected, um, they'd eventually have to start talking to each other. Uh, or do they? How do you feel about all this? Well, I think what you have to do is continue to work together and engage the process and put forth good faith efforts to negotiate a deal that will move our country forward. I think this president is doing that. I mean, he's not but a doesn't conventional that involve talking. Doesn't that involve talking to each other? I mean, I know they, they clearly dislike each other. I get yeah. that. But that they, they're yeah. going to have to eventually talk to each other. Or maybe not. I, I, yeah, no, look, I, I agree. I think that part of governing is to have these relationships and these personal engagements. But at this juncture, I think the president is is having the secretary engage with not only Pelosi, but her team and other members of Congress. So I, I think it, this is in play. The ball is still live because this president is willing to negotiate. But you're right. Long term, we've got to be able to we've got to be able to work together, even if she's going to weaponize impeachment over and over and over again. Uh, we've got to consider our country's future first and foremost. All right, Congressman, who am I to talk? I come from an Italian family where relatives weren't talking to each other for decades and forgot the reason why. Um, Congressman uh, Jody Arrington, thank you very much. Good seeing you. Continued good health.